Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back in to some more Anno 1800. All right, so we are ready to do the uh, next part of the Iron Tower right here. It is ready to upgrade. However, I do have a little surprise for some of you who are not following me at twitch.tv slash Takarazuka, shameless plug. Um, remember how I said in the last episode I was thinking about moving the World's Fair? Well... I moved the World's Fair, guys. Check this out, though. Look how cool this looks. Actually, let me get back into uh, let me get back into no UI mode here. Look at this. Look how pretty this looks. We now have our Iron Tower nice and lined up, of course, with the Boulevard, which the Boulevard is undergoing some uh, changes too. We'll show that in a minute. Um, but yeah. All nicely decorated up with some really nice parks, uh, utilizing some, lots of those pink trees, uh, the pink cherry trees, the flower beds, uh, just lots of fun little things everywhere. Something for the eye all over the place. World's Fair has been moved over here with some nice flanking plazas and stuff. I think it looks just superb. Lots of little pops of color as well with the... Um, the umbrellas and stuff everywhere. Yeah, I'm super happy with how this looks. Of course, it has no power right now because, you know, bugged out oil refineries, but whatever. Uh, but yeah, I absolutely love it. I think it looks great. So, so cool. I'm very happy with it. The, uh, the stream was supposed to actually be all about redoing the uh, bus network, and I ended up redoing the World's Fair area first anyways instead. Uh, what else do we do? Oh, I've kind of moved around some stuff here. To, I want to put a new um, a new museum right here so I have some better museum coverage. Uh, I put a new botanical garden right here. I did not get this done on stream. I did this on my own earlier. But yeah, we've got a, a new botanical garden here right across from the palace. And this is something I did on my own. I decided to make this a really nice long... Uh, really just colorful boulevard with I decided to go with a purple flower beds all up and down it right here I gotta go through and like fix up these so they have the uh, trees and stuff in them how I want but you know that's gonna take that's gonna take a while but yeah I'm really really happy with how this right here has turned out I think it looks really nice I did decide to keep the big uh, just a big road in the middle because now that we have these lovely trees on each side i thought it looked really really cool bus stops with some fountains around them we have our uh, tour guide wrong with a little just a little drink shack right here maybe for the tourists and everything as they come around of course we have our hotel here i did make a really nice hotel you might have caught a glimpse of right here i really decorated this one up i really like that one right there so yeah, I'm really happy with some of this. I have more to do, um, as always, you guys know me, more to move around, more to change up. Um, there was a town hall right here. I decided to uh, redo this little, right here, there was like a town hall, and then there was like a random little two, it was a continuation of this right here, but that right there wasn't really working for me anymore. I'm probably gonna make some, um, some additional changes to how some of this right here looks in this general area. Um, I'm thinking about maybe getting rid of some of these boulevards and I, I'm probably, I know I just redid this, but now that I have this beautiful tower right here, I kind of want a nice big boulevard going to it uh, with the tourist mooring leading up to it. Yes. It's kind of over off on the corner in a weird way like that. Um, or I could put it over here. And just change all of this. Ooh, <laughs> God, you guys are. I don't know why anybody watches me because it's I, my my playthroughs are literally just me thinking about all the changes I can make constantly and constantly evolving the city. But to me, that's what's fun about this game is there's always something like, oh, I could do this with it or I could do that with it. You know, uh, someone suggested, hey, flip the uh, hotel around and now it's going to look like the one from the uh, promotional images. And hey, you're right. It kind of does. But yeah, there's there's so many little things I want to do. Like I want to redo and take away all the industry right here and make this a boardwalk um augustus johnson uh, i know i mentioned his name several times before he showed some really cool boardwalks he made 
So I thought about making this a really neat boardwalk or something. Um, moving like our double road situation and maybe carrying it on up here and shifting some of these roads around. I don't know. Lots of fun ideas of things I might want to work on later. But that is not what we're going to be doing in this episode, of course. In this episode, let's continue on and get this stinking iron totally tower done. Um, we did have a quest to build a police station. I built that. Yeah, I moved that right there. Uh, I moved it from down here. I was trying to shift some things around. And that counted. So now that we have the police station done, we need to find some conspirators. The conspirators are I'm actually... The newspaper. Light bulb shortage. Okay. Uh, the conspirators you're looking for are the workers. Alright, so they're going to have a little, a few things to say. Also want to go ahead and get a ship prepared. I don't want to use him. Let's use this. Just use the flagship. Alright, so the workers are the ones looking to assassinate the queen. Okay, so let's make a decision here. So there's two decision trees. One is you can threaten them or you can pay them 10,000 coins. If you threaten them, he will set parts of your city on fire. Um, and it's just a little annoying. We can pay him and get a sob story as well. Both of these lead to the same outcome where you have to deliver them to Archie. So I'm going to go ahead and pay him. I don't want to deal with the burning city. And we got a little sob story, you know, that it, it, he's doing it for his kids and he hates that they're being treated like animals while the nobility gorged themselves on the fancy grub. The queen must be saved at all costs. All right, so we know that there are conspirators. They are, I believe, yeah, they're over here near the, um, usually right over in here somewhere. Oh, there they are. There they are. They're next to the warehouse, the trading post. Help us out, will you, boss? Aye, aye. All right. Spare a thought for us. A presser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we need to bring them to Archie. Now, unfortunately, I, wrong ship here. All right, there we go. Let's send you on to Parajan and go take you to Archibald. We'll finish that quest, and then we will finish the Iron Tower and uh, kind of culminate this um in the meantime i am working on a lost cities set right here so we got the masoan temple now i got us up i i did drop down in attractiveness quite a bit to do all of this i literally had to destroy like a ton of houses i had to destroy so so many homes to fit this it was uh it was a little crazy, so I am going to go through and start rebuilding some of those while, we, uh, while we're waiting for the conspirators to be delivered up to Archie. I was also thinking about moving this, uh, the bank somewhere else. I was not, I was, I just wasn't feeling the bank right there anymore. Yeah, I think I was thinking about moving it right here. Seems really like that placement either. You know what? Let me move the bank up here. Yeah, let's put the bank there. Put that there. Now, what's going on with these roads? These roads right here are doing something absolutely weird, and I don't understand what's happening. Like, I don't know what's happening back here at all. Oh, that's right. I had left like a little space for like a park or something around it, but it's kind of, it's kind of eh, not a. Uh, not loving that. But I can put these guys down here. Alright, so if I do that... Hmm. 
Just trying to figure out how I'm going to fit some of this in here the way that I want. I also need, I also would like to kind of take some decent advantage of this trade union right here. Um, we get rid of all of this and this thing. Let's get rid of these roads right here. That. Okay, so this is going to actually dead end the giant boulevard coming in from the main part of the city. I'm going to get rid of these trees. Okay. We'll put that there. You should still have... Eh, it's okay. Honestly, he really does need to be, like, right there. If I'm being honest with you, he does need to be over there. Because he gets a better coverage in that spot. Okay. A discovery that just oozes culture. It oozes culture. Right, I'm going to put that thing there. That guy there. I'm just going to put him right here. Now that I think about it, we're just going to stick him right there. That'll be good and fine. This is kind of the, you know, the back end of town right here, so... Try to fit a few extra things back in here. Uh, this members club... Needs to go somewhere, though. If I put the members club, like, right up in the center of that, that'd be kind of fun. Ooh, I kind of like that idea. I'll put another members club here for them. Yeah, hold up. Let me try this. See if I can't make something kind of interesting here. How big is that thing? It just needs to be over one more tile. That's fine. Yeah. Do a little something like that. rid of some of these weird roads like this. Okay, I keep moving the same one over and over. I know. I, it's, um, I just have a weird bad habit of doing that sometimes. Alright, and I can fit one more here. Okay. And then these three... I guess I'm just gonna... Cram them up there. I'm gonna cram this one up here too. Where did I just put that? Oh, you know. Oh god, where did I put it? Oh, right there. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna move these out of the way, I think. It leaves me two spaces there, though. Hmm. Ah, uh, you know what? Never mind. Uh, I'll put him back down here. That's what I'll put. I'll do. You know, we we need a a police station to look after uh, our affairs and stuff because God knows these scholars are a uh, they're a wild bunch down here. All right. So now we're gonna get back to these. Get a little decoration going in here for them. Just a little, some little stuff. Kind of decorate it up a little bit. It don't have to be super fancy. Although it might end up being super fancy. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, 
Uh, you know what? I'll leave that part right there. Toss in a few trees just to add in a little green. And there we go. Kind of redo that little that little uh, campus area right there with those scholars. That, I like that. That works. Now, these guys, yeah, those guys need a... Uh, they're going to need a market and at least a school nearby so I can level them up. I also need to redo. I had to re. I had to tear down the zoo, so I do have to re, uh, re redo the zoo area. It was necessary to take it out. You know, and I don't know if I want to do it that way or not. Let's just hold off on that. Your ship has returned from ah, there's our flagship. Good. Flagship awaiting instructions. Let's pop them up here. Choose our partners carefully. So that's going to. Uh, help complete that mission. What have we got down here? We got that fish and frights. Yeah, it's just not really what I want. I, yeah, I'm just really not sold on the uh, on the restaurants and stuff being right there. I mean, just honestly. We have a fish and frights there and a fish and frights there. If I put in... Uh, oh, you can't reach a... can't reach one anywhere? Really? Where can you reach to? Oh, I can. Oh, God, I'm an idiot. It's not, it's not telling me that's out of range. It's telling me that there's not a, uh, a bus in range. Oh, boy. Okay, that's fine. I can. I can squeeze a bus in right here on this little thing, I think. Yeah, and that's within range. Good. Alright, now the only problem is they're probably not... Well, you know what? It's not bad. They're at 90%. 90%. You know what? I think that's going to be just fine. He's got one closer, so he's okay. He's at 84%. Um, but I can still add another one. So I've got one there. Uh, that one's that's okay. I wouldn't say it's the best location for it, but it's all right. Um, then I could probably also get one right here. There is a fair number of uh, engineers and stuff right there. More than what there was right here. Right you there. Are doing a great service ah, there's the assassins. And country. You have won the day. We got uh, George Smith Statute of Universal Collaboration. Alrighty. Well, before I do that, I'm going to, you know, make you guys... Is itching to visit. Yeah, I know. The Ma Her Majesty's itching. She's just an itching. To get the day started. So this recipe book here. A misunderstanding cleared up a secure ceremony. Cleaner streets. An all-around wonderful job. All right, cool. So we have the cafe right up here that is doing the. That's going to be a banana surprise cafe. Just uh. There's the surprise. We're going to swap that one over to the banana surprise later. That way we get the um, champagne, coffee, and chocolate reduction. I think right here I might do a another bar. Is quite the thing, I, assure you. Um, I do need to get some more rum for that, though. Yeah. I think that's what we're going to put. We're going to put... Uh, not not you. There you are. We're gonna put another bar right there. I think we're just going to stick with the black muscova muscovy. 
yeah, we're just going to stick with that black Muscovy right there. Uh, that's going to cover quite a bit of them right there as well. Um, and go ahead and continue to reduce the uh, champagne and chocolate. The schnapps, of course, is kind of useless for us, but I don't really think there's another one I want to do right there. No. So you could do coffee with Glog. Could do the Glog. Oh, and a lot of people keep getting confused about this. To unlock the Glog, it's not an expedition to, like, find the Arctic. It's an expedition to the Arctic. So what you're looking for is, like... Let's see, I even have one up there at the moment. Like this. Like here. A pirate hunt in the Arctic. That's what it's looking for. Not the expedition to find the Arctic. Just a random expedition to the Arctic area. So just open your world map and see if you have any up there. That will unlock Glog. Let's just go ahead and unlock that one. Um, available ships. And you know what? Let's just get, let's get back to uh, over here. Because I have a battle cruiser and I forgot what its name was. The Europa. Yes. Let's go and do that. That was the only three-star pirate hunt. All right, let's assign him. Europa. All right, let's take the captain. We're going to take Lady Lou and Drew Dernal. Then we're also going to grab ourselves uh, High Admiral Nadaski. Trade Union items. Let's grab a Meg Iver. And let's grab ourselves Saint D'Artois, so that we have crafting, faith, medicine, uh, some diplomacy. Okay, we got everything I need. Let me just grab up. We're starting to run low on a few things. I gotta go check it all. Uh, let's grab ourselves some champagne. And I hit escape because I'm an idiot. Start expedition. There we go. Okay. I'm assuming it's because he can't get somewhere. No? He can. What's your problem? No, maybe he can't. Alright, he can't he can't find any space for anything, so we're going to have to this is kind of one of the little problems you sometimes run into is you do need them within range. And, my, and they've got a huge range, and then, of course, everywhere I want them to go, there's uh, there's not a, a, a warehouse in range, because, you know, that would make it too easy. Where can I put one? Hold on. The people celebrate your leadership. really want to get that like right here or something it would be perfect oh nice and aristilia uh Bate, or however you say her name i got one of her i like her yeah if i go if i, I can't quite fit everything right there apparently that's uh it sucks and i also killed like my really cool like, I had those gardens and stuff around the edge, and that kind of just killed that off. Yeah, it happens. Alright, for right now, we're just going to move you to there. Do that there, and you can go there. Alright. That gets him in range. Um... Let's check that rum situation real quick. Rum was coming from, I think it was just Bello Verticale. Rum is getting pretty tight, to be honest with you. Rum is getting a little on the tight side. Uh, coffee is as well. And what about schnapps? 
Schnapps is okay. I am noticing, though, that our champagne is running a little low. Might have to go back and check all that. I've got just enough to last, so... Alright, let's go ahead and get this right here done. There it is. All right, wait for the queen. The moment of truth approaches. Our stratospheric savior of burnished iron awaits to the inauguration. All right. So now we just need to wait for the queen to get here. You can see her airship coming up on the horizon. Luckily, she's coming from right there. One time she came from way down here. The horizon. The royal airship is approaching. Let us strike up the fanfare. All right. So she is on her way over and we can continue this. Yeah, I've got a, I got quite a few things I need to work on. It seems I need to uh, check all of our productions, get our champagne under control, um, get rum under control, make sure we have enough coffee coming in. Even though we are reducing consumption quite a bit, so that's helping too. But let's do this fun part. Mm -hmm. What monarch has not dreamed of leaving such an imprint upon the ages of time? Today, we make history. You are very welcome, Queenie. We're only waiting for you to come to the ceremony. Do you really want to make your queen wait? All right, let's get started. What a splendid venue. The perfect shrine for this momentous occasion. Let the inauguration begin. All right, so enjoy the royal parade. Occasion, the splendor, the pomp. The royal guards parading are so proud and also attractive. It's a concept dish. They made it especially for a royal... Oh, okay, so we have unlocked some new recipes. These are for the uh, the tower. Celebrate your leadership. Now, there's supposed to be a... Like a bunch of horses, but they seem to be stuck. So, whatever. Oh no, there they are. They're coming out from right there. So there's the royal parade, kind of spawning at the edge of the Iron Tower. It's kind of cool though. A little, little parade of soldiers. Parading through town. I love it. Let's go take a picture of Queenie. There you go, your majesty. All right, cool. Can't remember if there's anything else or we just wait for the uh, parade to end now. I, I hate to like randomly start talking and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, and there's something else. All right, so we've got a cafe there. To yeah, the banquet. told you. We do start to feel peckish. Tell us. What have you concocted to honor this grand occasion? All right, so we have to make a decision on the queen's palate. All right, so she wants something fruity, named after an aristocratically named. Now, I've tried several different combinations. I'm going to try something different now. Let's try a daiquiri tropic, the schnitzel, and then the trifle tower. Seldom have we eaten so well. No, Improved still not. I still don't know what it is. Maybe it's the Strogoff. I think that's the only combination I haven't done it is... It is our and honor yeah. to declare this restaurant open. Let all savor the splendorous dishes concocted here. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, I, it might be the uh, the last option on the first one, that 75, and then the Strogoff, and then the Trifle Tower. That might be the combination to get the, the best one. I don't remember. So the parade is still going on. Pray provide us with some cloth. No okay. questions. It is to be a surprise. A All right. Reward. So we gotta give her the fifty cloth. All right. And now fresh off the looms, our tribute. Our thanks for your service, your diligence, and your loyalty. And yeah. count to three. One, two, and three. Unveil the surprise, dear subject. Alright, and we 
Select the Iron I Tower. There. To the architect <laughs> of such masterful works, this city, its glories and triumphs. The world deserves to know your quality, my loyal servant. The highest of all. So that gives us the decorated Iron Tower skin. All right, and that completes the quest for the Iron Tower, mostly. Now we have the default skin and then the uh, dressed up skin. So just something kind of fun to do. We'll go with the normal one for the time being. All right, and now we have the recipe. There's about to be another quest pop up, by the way. But now we have the uh, Trifle Tower recipe, the Age of Exploration, and the Homard de Lit de Terror de, 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 de recipe. This is also one of the only ones that affects um, scholars, by the way. Nothing else affects scholars. The, um... I'm thinking of putting on a small yeah, dance so there it is. You. I'm quite the confident dancer myself, but I'll need your help. Um, alright, so for this one right here, I'm thinking about going with the Age of Exploration uh, recipe. 15%, 15%, 15%. That's going to be pretty good all the way around. None of that drabbled ballet. This would be audacious. All right, so we're going to check that quest out in just a moment. Um, of course, now, right now, it's a very, there's not a lot of people around it. Honestly, this thing is really best when it's set in the mid middle of a ton of people, but it's not, so that's okay. Um, but I think I definitely want to do the Age of Exploration. Gas, potatoes, red peppers, and beef. Now, of course, two of those things I really hate to have to try to supply, but we're going to try to do it anyways. Now, this does give you max residence, which also increases consumption, but uh, it will reduce the needs for champagne, coffee, and chocolate by 15% each. And since I do have it mostly going to be around investors, um, I think it's going to be the best option right there. Originally, I, of course, I think I've talked about it before, I did have it built down here. That way it covered more people. But, I mean, come on, it just looks so cool right there. I just, you know, can't have it shoved in the middle of a bunch of houses. I mean, I guess you can, but it would look terrible. Um, I don't have sugar. I have some of this right here. I have enough to last for a little while, so... Let's just go ahead and select the Age of Exploration. Alright. Now, here's the fun part. You can add extra tourists to increase the range. I have enough tourists to supply up to 80, and look at the range on that thing now. I'm going to leave at least enough for another, uh, like, restaurant or something. But yeah, you could increase the range quite significantly. I like, I, I really do like that, how it will do it. Um, oh, interestingly enough, it does require power once it's complete. Hmm, I never think I've ever paid attention to that before. All right, let's double check our supply of potatoes. We're a little shy on potatoes. Let's go build another one up here. Somewhere. Running out of room up here for some stuff. I'm gonna have to go somewhere else with everything. Is it supposed to be like this of Her Majesty's Sovereign Head? God save the poor girl if her face looks that fleshy. <laughs> Brioche Royale. I think that was here. Was that one there? Yeah. Brioche right there. That one is... It's, it's okay. I'm not a really big fan of that one. It's like, eh. Okay. Sure. Whatever. Alright. So that should take care of the uh, potatoes. Then, of course, we're going to need beef, red peppers. And we should be okay on the gas. I am making some extra gas, so I'm not worried about that. Um, I'll just have to work on the beef and red peppers as well later on. That does give us the uh, Age of Exploration. So it's going to get let us have up to 55 per, uh, per residence there. And of course this is also covered by the, uh, by 
the Black Muscovy. So we're consuming a lot less champagne than we were before, which is really, really nice. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we're only consuming now three tons per minute with an oversupply of 37. That's ridiculous. Um, wow. <laughs> just, just wow. Uh, coffee is coffee still like crazy. I need 28. What do I need for that? So 28 times 30, it's 840 coffee. Let's go to the wharf, see how much I'm importing on the coffee. Ooh, yeah, I'm definitely not importing enough coffee here. So that actually needs to be 420. And 420. I hereby sentence you to not very hard labor. Yeah, now I'm busy right now. Okay. Now, what I need to know is what's going on with the champagne. So 653, 101, and 268. Divided by 30, I need an overproduction of 34 per minute. I have an overproduction of 37 per minute, so technically I am okay on that. Um, I can, of course, get that, get that down even further by supplying some more things like... So, like, we have this cafe right here that at the moment is reducing coffee, chocolate, and schnapps. Not the best. Um... I could do the venison tartar, 15% and 10%. That chocolate reduction is really calling my name. Let's see, I don't have any goat milk, and I would also need more cinnamon, too. Um, the, painting on the, wall? the venison well, tartar is not bad. I mean, I don't care about the, the, the beer the reduction. An extra 5% is not much, though, but a 10% reduction plus 15% coffee. Oh, no, a 5% and 20% on the chocolate. Yeah, I mean, I've already been reducing my chocolate. How's that looking? Let's take a look and see. How's that chocolate looking? Oh, yeah, we're way overproducing chocolate now. That's that's really, really nice. That's really, really nice. Now, and I can put another... Now, you can stack these, of course, too. Don't forget about that. You can stack this stuff. Um, like, we've got a bar right there. I could put another bar right here, actually, if I wanted to. Well, that sounds promising. And then I could put maybe... Let's see what I have. I, I'm doing the Black Muscovy. I could do the Ambesa Sunrise. Or I could do the Glog. Uh, the Ambesa Sunrise is kind of calling my name. That Glog is more, though, just because of the additional coffee reduction. Um, or we could do another cafe right here. And this cafe right there could reduce, say, maybe we could do the venison tartar there. So you can stack all of these recipes. Now, you do have to have the customers for it. So that is something to, to keep in mind is you do need the customers for it as well. So there's a lot of different things you can do with it um, to try to keep your consumptions low and keep all of that in check. Uh, but it's, it's a pretty interesting system you can mess around with right there. Something for nothing. Uh, but I think with that, I believe I am going to call it an episode. Um, yeah, most of the tourist stuff is done now. The last things we really got to do now, which I was going to do this episode, but you know, got sidetracked, uh, is we're going to work on lemonade and souvenirs next and get those two take, taken care of. And I need more hotels. I do want to get up to unlock uh, the basic need for the Iron Tower. I have six hotels. I technically need four more hotels spread around the city somewhere. So that is something I'm going to have to work on. So with that, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode, uh, and we will see you in the next one. Take care.